5G is the future of connectivity, but how will it be deployed? With rising data demands from 4K streaming and online gaming, 5G promises a quantum leap in wireless network speeds. Businesses too are evolving, harnessing IoT, digital twins, AI, and real-time analytics. Operators face a pivotal decision. Launch 5G with a non-standalone 5G core, leveraging existing 4G, or dive into a dedicated standalone 5G. Standalone means a dedicated 5G network, offering full capabilities. Non-standalone uses 4G infrastructure, making it cost-effective but with some limitations. DISH in the USA is a standalone pioneer, building a cloud-native network targeting 70% coverage by 2023. Conversely, Deutsche Telekom in Germany utilised their 4G to provide broader 5G services with an evolution plan to standalone. Standalone boasts flexibility and dynamic network functions, while non-standalone offers a faster rollout and maximises existing network assets. The transition isn't binary. Many operators begin with non-standalone, aiming to eventually achieve a full standalone deployment. One standout feature in the future will be network slicing, allowing operators to dedicate network segments for specific needs. 5G's potential is vast. It might even replace traditional connectivity methods in places like manufacturing hubs and smart cities. 5G's era has begun. Its success hinges on operators' strategic choices. For a deeper dive into 5G's evolution, check out the full article in the description below.